Hello and welcome to the short history of the devil from the magical perspective. As we scan towards demonologies of various civilizations and cultures, starting with the Sumerian, Babylonian one, there are plenty of demonic entities. Some of them are naughty and malignant, some of them are not. However, what does it mean, diabole? It means to slander. That's a Latin word. So throughout history there were plenty of demonic entities, some of them friendly towards human race, some of them not, of various natures, of various depths and weirdness and diversity in natures as such. So when we take Greece and Rome for example, somehow those forces in Europe coexisted. If we take the demonic Part, the Satyrites, the Satyricon, as the other part that was wholly tolerated and accepted as a part of harmonious cultures, if we take the other side for real, that is. Now, what happened when the Manichaeans came with the light and darkness and good and evil? Well, the history of the Christian devil or the Judeo Christian devil emerged. How come that people that go through injustice, destruction, societal destruction, alcoholism, prostitution, destruction, woe and sorrow and various other evil things join the army of the dead and are called by the Christians the devil, the devil made me do it. But what happens when Christianity created the most morbid injustice on earth pointing towards the one that you're the devil, you're the witch, we'll destroy you. And that led to suffering and great turmoil in human souls. Because what happens when the mind is receiving pain and injustice? The soul is malformed, it dies, the heart dies. It turns into a grotesque, demonesque monstrosity. For example, when some nuns tie their sexual activity and they take the suffering upon themselves without sublimating it, like in the East, like the Buddhists and the Hindus, well, their souls look like corpses with black eyes, think horrors, but they're alive. And then they join the army of the dead thinking they're on the way to Jesus or something, but it doesn't happen, unfortunately, for those bitches. So, when Christian says, the devil, the demon, what does it mean? It means that they encounter an entity of the dead. In Voodoo traditions, Mord, for example, in uh, Roman traditions, this was the Penates. In the Greek traditions, eight dollars, the souls of the dead, pitch black, or Arrhenius, the uh, vengeful, wrathful dead. So basically the devil are the dead of human beings who know humans too well that are taking vengeance or try to replicate the behavioral ideas because they were destroyed by humans. Mainly they were destroyed by Christians, for example in Judeo-Christian civilization. So they don't especially like those believing, praying idiots because they were promised something they didn't receive. They were promised they'll go to heaven and they ended up in the shadow zone of the affairs of earth. So naturally, if you witness an imbecile Christian exorcist that exorcises the devil, it pisses them off because he is powerless over them. And uh, as demons, the original demons are much older than the human race. They are children of nature and of gods before humanity even appeared. Very weird forms. But when humans started evolving into a civilized, Anthropocene, those forces started incarnating and uh, emanating, taking on human masks, making it a more humane spectacle. Better the devil you know than the one that doesn't know you. So, imagine that satyrs, the lusty, wondrous entities, for example in uh, Rome or in Greece, all of a sudden were reduced to this the devil and framed into an ideological religious belief system in human minds in the noosphere that splintered the harmony and turned it into Manichaean bullshit. Well, it created plenty of suffering to human minds and souls throughout centuries, this Judeo-Christian 
mindset. So it had direct translation into human souls and their sufferings and the sufferings of the pitch black shadows. It is a functional component of the human soul that is Kaibit Shushut as it was called in Egypt. So not only Christianity created the devil but also it facilitated its emancipation as such. So uh, that is the short history of the devilish tribes as an observer of many of the deceptions, illusions and trickeries. I may say that bravo bravo religion of Judeo-Christianity. You've created the greatest evils and abominations on planet earth and by secularizing it and in the post uh, factual, ultra-relativist form, the minds and souls are even more fucked up. Because if Christianity wouldn't appear on earth, and the reforms of Julian Autocraton would happen, the great reforming of solar religions, of the deistic, panentheistic, polytheistic forms, the harmony would be preserved. It wouldn't be splintered into fake conscious, religious indoctrinated conscience, religious indoctrinated morality and so-called fulfilled gibberish theology and ethics. So, subsuming, the devil is chasing Christians, but the Christians created the devil to chase them. And the more devils they create, the more injustice is in this world, the more evil is added to evil. That's a sort of state of affairs, right? As a person that prefers to live harmoniously with all these spirits, in as much as I may, someone to tear me apart, but oh well, that's the nature, with the gods, with the spirits, with the hells, with the heavens of the planets, of the stars. And I find a beautiful harmony. It's regaining the hidden standing in a way. But if you split the world into good, evil, light, darkness, and then try to stick to your idea of lightness, indoctrinated by your beliefs about what is lightness and what is dark, then you might as well be torn to shreds by your own delusions that are facilitated by your belief system. That is so simple. So the prime goal of this lecture is not to lecture you about the devils, but to find harmony within, harmony without. And whenever you receive damage, reorient yourself into a new harmony, into a new whole. Because this is the meaning of holiness. It is to be whole, completed, around it. It's not to be a self-righteous fire and bricks on idiot on some Judeo-Christian moral bollocks. <laughs> Thank you.